Hello, everyone. In the Philippines, we have the Expanded Withholding Tax, or EWT, which is a tax collected by a payer or a withholding tax agent on certain income payments then paid to the Bureau of Internal Revenue. The withholding tax percentage depends on the table of withholding tax rates applicable. So this is an example of some tax rates. The withholding tax is based on the amount excluding VAT. Once the payee will issue an official receipt, the withholding agent will then issue BIR Form 2307. This tax is then creditable against the income tax of the payee or the person to whom the payment is due. So without BIR Form 2307, the payee won't be able to use the tax that was deducted against his income tax. So in this video, let's assume that our business is a withholding agent and we will deduct 10% on our payment for some legal services that a vendor has rendered. Okay, so before we do that, we will check our chart of accounts. And let's make sure that we have a current liability account. We should have expanded withholding tax payable, a current liability account, because the amount will be paid to the Bureau of Internal Revenue. So the money that we collected from the payee is not ours. It belongs to the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Okay, so we have that. So let's start. I will click Enter Bills. Okay, and then our vendor is Anderson Law Office. Our date is October 11. Let's leave the other information blank. And then the account is legal services or professional services of 100,000. And then the VAT input, and then the VAT input is 12,000. Okay, so I will click save and close. Okay, so we will deduct 10% on our payment to Anderson Law Office. So we will first create a journal entry. I will go to company and then make general journal entries. So we will pay on October 13. The debit account is accounts payable. That's 10,000 pesos. That's 10% of the 100,000 professional fees that we will pay to the vendor. And the name should be the Anderson Law Office. The credit account should be the expanded withholding tax payable of 10,000. And then we can put Bureau of Internal Revenue. Okay, I will click save and close. Okay, so let's check our chart of accounts. I will press Control Q or quick report. Okay, there, so this is our 10,000 pesos deducted from the accounts payable of Anderson Law Office. Okay, so let's apply our payment to Anderson Law Office. I will go back to the home page and I will click pay bills. Okay, I will filter by vendor. I will only pay 102,000 because the 10,000 will be withheld. And then the very important thing is I will click set credits so that the 10,000 pesos withholding tax amount will be deducted from the accounts payable of Anderson Law Office. Just make sure that there is a check mark at this column. I will click done. Okay. And then the date is October 13. Payment method is check. And the money will be taken out from our May Bank account. I will click pay selected bill. Okay. And then check number. I will click OK. All right, so I will click Done. We have already paid the Anderson Law Office. Let's go to our vendor center and let's check the account of Anderson Law Office. Okay, so I will double click the bill and I will press Control Y for the journal entry. So the debit is 112,000 accounts payable and the credit is 100,000 for professional fees and 12,000 for VAT input. I will double click the payment and then press Control Y again. Okay, so we only pay 102,000 to the vendor and then the credit is 102,000 coming from the May Bank account. All right, so 
we will now pay the Bureau of Internal Revenue. I will click write checks. And then we will pay from our security bank. The vendor is the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Okay, and then withholding tax, expanded withholding tax, 10,000. We will change the date to November 1st. Okay, I will click save and close. And let's go back to our chart of accounts. Let's check our EWT account. Okay, I will press Control Q for quick report. So as you can see, the 10,000 pesos is now deducted from our EWT payable account to the Bureau of Internal Revenue. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.